So the energy is coming from the, uh, the heat in my cup of coffee. My cup of coffee is getting, getting colder. It's taking heat, energy, heat out of the cup of coffee and the heat's going from the hot side to the cold side and some of the energy, some of that heat energy, is being converted into mechanical energy in this, uh, uh, in this little Stirling engine here. Most people, when they, were, when they were at school doing the GCSEs, will remember that uh, work is defined as being a force times the distance. So when we want to get a car to move along, we, we push it in the direction we want it to go, and by pushing through a certain distance, that's the amount, that's the work we put into the car, and then the car's got this mechanical energy, this kinetic energy as we call it, and it's, uh, and it's moving along. Uh, most of our energy comes, from, uh, 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 comes in the form of heat. We dig fuels out of the ground and burn them, or we, we grow uh, biomass, biofuels, and burn those as well to generate heat. And what we've got to do is to convert this heat into mechanical energy uh, to, uh, so we can drive the cars and the planes and everything. And the way we convert heat into mechanical energy is to use something called a heat engine. You've certainly seen one because you've, you've got one in your car. Because a petrol engine, a diesel engine, uh, a jet engine, they're all heat engines. They all convert the heat from the burning of the fuel, the diesel fuel, the petrol, uh, into mechanical energy and push your car along. When we've got energy in the form of heat, all the atoms are, are buzzing around they're moving around. It's at, heat energy is actually kinetic energy at the atomic level, but every atom's moving around in a different direction and buzzing in different directions. They've got different amounts of uh, energy. And it's all very mixed up and very random. And what we want to do is to create that, uh, is to somehow make that less mixed up, and we want to convert some of that energy into mechanical energy where all the atoms are moving in the same direction with the same speed. And uh, to do that, we use, uh, we use a heat engine. And this is known as a, a Stirling engine, but it's just one example of, of a heat engine. There's lots of other sorts of heat engines, like the petrol engines and diesel engines in your car, and jet engines and so on. They're all different examples of a heat engine. It, it works uh, when you have a, a temperature difference. So I've got a hot, uh, a hot cup of coffee here, so we'll put it on the top and just allow uh, time for it to, uh, to heat up a bit. The, the blue plate on the bottom is a, a piece of aluminium and uh, it's being heated up by the heat from the coffee. And uh, inside there's a, a, a an enclosed volume of air inside the, inside the Stirling engine. There are two pistons. There's a big white piston inside the, uh, uh, inside the bottom section here and then there's a small black piston at the top. Now the big white piston is a very loose fitting piston and um, we call it a displacer piston and all it does is displace air from the top to the bottom. The bottom plate here is getting hot and it's heating up that air and when air heats up it expands and as it expands it pushes the black piston up so you can see the black piston coming up here like this. Then what we do is the displacer piston, the white piston, the big piston, we then move that down to the bottom and when we push it down to the bottom it, it moves the air, the hot air that was in contact with the hot plate now moves to the top, it starts to cool down. As it starts to cool down, uh, it, uh, it shrinks and sucks this piston back in again. So this, piston, this black piston's now moving down. We should get the engine to go round. There it is, it's going round. That's our heat engine. Now what's happening in this heat engine, the heat's going from hot to cold, and heat naturally goes from hot to cold. But with this engine, we're actually, uh, we've actually persuaded some of this disordered heat energy to can be converted into mechanical energy that's driving this, this wheel round. So the energy is coming from the, uh, the heat in my cup of coffee. My cup of coffee is getting, getting colder. It's taking heat, energy, heat out of the cup of coffee and the heat's going from the hot side to the cold side. And some of the energy, some of that heat energy, is being converted into mechanical energy in this, uh, uh, in this little Stirling engine here. For, for the amount of mechanical energy you get, a Stirling engine will be quite big. And a, much, and, uh, a petrol engine or a diesel engine, you get more power out of, a, uh, out of a, a same size engine, if it's a petrol engine or a diesel engine, than you do uh, out of the same size Stirling engine. So the reason you've got a uh, petrol engine or a diesel engine in your car is because you get more, more power out of a, a certain size engine. It was called a Stirling engine after the guy who invented it, and he was a guy called... Now, I think he was, he was a guy called Stirling, <laughs> and I think if I correct, remember correctly, he was a clergyman, in, a Scottish clergyman. So the Stirling engine's cooled down now, and I can, uh, we can make the Stirling engine work this time by, um, by making the, the top surface much colder than the surroundings. So I've got some ice cubes here. Oops. So if I put an ice cube on the top surface just here, it'll cool down the top surface, 
Now we're still converting heat energy into mechanical energy, but this time it, the, the, the source of heat is the desk, which is just at, at room temperature, and the heat is, uh, uh, the heat is cooling down and, uh, uh, to these ice cubes. And these ice cubes are, uh, are melting, as you can see, but the, the temperature difference that's driving this heat engine is now the temperature difference between the desk and the ice cubes. And you can see, in fact, it's going around even faster than it did with a cup of coffee. And you can see it's going around like the clappers. I think, it's, I think it's really great. I think it's a really neat uh, little heat engine. That, and it's really quite easy to explain to people how it, uh, how it works. It just works that hot air expands and cold air contracts. And we've uh, managed to... Uh, and the energy, which naturally wants to go from... to be more disordered, we've tricked some of the energy into becoming ordered energy and converted into some, uh, converted into some mechanical work uh, in this Stirling engine. But people don't expect that... Uh, we can convert, uh, we can get ice cubes and uh, get work from ice cubes. We've got mechanical energy from ice cubes here. So maybe there's an opportunity there if we, uh, uh, if we saw some icebergs, we could uh, attach Stirling engines to them and get, uh, and get mechanical power from icebergs.